Hello everyone, no Chuckle here for another video review. This time we have uh, Cadbury's Heroes, or Miniature Heroes if you remember back in the day when they first came out. <laughs> um, yeah, share good times apparently, share good times. So yeah, so basically um, Cadbury's, uh, those of you who don't know, in the UK Cadbury's is um, probably the main, the biggest chocolate company really. It's usually, especially the, well, when I say biggest, it's one that everyone knows, it's the most famous one. You could say it's the brand leader, I guess, the market leader. It's, um, it's sort of the... the the sort of mass market British chocolate you get in the shops and things. And they do various different chocolate bars. Um, and this one has roughly got a good selection of, of all their biggest ones or best ones or most famous ones or, or whatever. Um, or a selection of their chocolates anyway. And so it's a bit controversial. I wouldn't say some of them are the best ones. I wouldn't say some of them are the biggest ones. And I think even one of them, I'm not even sure really they sell. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a couple of controversies here. But anyway, so we've, what have we got in here? Well, there's a new, couple of new ones. So we've got... Um, yeah, so we've we got a few here. So we've got, we got uh, Dairy well, Cream Egg Twisted, uh, Dairy Milk Caramel, Cabbage Twirl, Cabbage Dinky Decker, which is uh, less sort of like a little chunk of a, dunky, um, a double decker bar, Crunchy Bites, uh, Dairy Milk, Whisper, Fudge, and uh, Chocolate Eclair. So some good ones there, I think. Um, yeah, back in the day, they used to have Time Out in here, Fuse used to be in here. What others were in here? Um, I'm trying to think now. I can't quite recall. I think those are the main ones that used to be in here. Um, yeah, can't think what else was in there. It might have been something else, but those are yeah, those are two big ones that have left. Um, and then, and basically, the timeout has disappeared completely now. And uh, the fact it used to be in here says all says already. I don't know what they've done with it. Why they've got rid of it? It was probably one of Cadbury's strongest chocolates, um, and it's not in here anymore. Now, controversially, you know, they do every, every, basically there's a cabbage cream egg used to come out. And then about five, ten years ago, maybe a bit more, they made it into a chocolate bar called the Twisted. Um, and now they put like little ones of these. But it's really an Easter thing. I don't know, it's not like, I don't know, I don't believe it's that great of one of Cadbury's great chocolates. I don't think it should be in here. It's a bit different than all the others though, so I'll give it that. The fudge is just a Cadbury's fudge. It's a small bar for kids. You know, it's, I don't know why it's in here. And the eclairs as well, I really can't stand those. They're always left at the end. They're big, chewy, horrible things. You know, they are a bit different than everything else, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of them. So they've still got some things in here that I don't like, and I'm sure they could easily just either get rid of or just, you know, I don't know. I guess they do provide a bit of, I don't know, balance or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, these, I, yeah, I'm sure they could find something. I mean, just they have a Bourneville as well, like a dark chocolate one. Or some white chocolate, you know, even, but cabbage don't do that anymore, it seems. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yes, yeah, as you can see, it says, now starring Crunchy, ba crunchy Bites and Dinky Decker. So clearly, or oh, Crunchy Bits, it says there, actually. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, Crunchy Bits, not Bites. Um, so there you go. So there's those two new things in there. I'm not sure, I don't think they've got rid of anything to include those. I think they've just added them in. So, yeah, so it's quite a lot. Okay, so, yeah, the uh, right, it says an assortment of chocolates and toffees. Rose's description is an assortment of chocolates, so there we go. Um, hmm. Oddly enough, the Rose's one um, had the Queen on top. Here's one, doesn't it? It's Cadbury's as well, it says Cadbury's Cocoa. Yeah, so I don't know what that means. It even has it on the bottom as well. The Queen symbol. It's not there on the, on the Heroes one, so I don't know what that means. I don't know why that is. Um, hmm. Yeah, milk, so milk chocolate, milk size, 20% minimum. And then it says milk chocolate, milk size, 14% minimum. I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is twice. Um, yeah, I wonder if this is made. Oh, it does have the queen symbol there. There you go, the queen is there. So she is there. She does endorse it. There you go, everything's good in the world. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you got the Coco Life thing on here and some... Um, yeah, see back for um, allergen information as well. It does have Coco Life on the... Uh, on the roses one. Well, I don't know why they're in different places. I mean, yes, yeah, maybe there's just a transition between the packaging types. You know, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, well, that's quite nice of you'd say. Yeah, not too bad. They've got a, a, a good selection of Cadbury's chocolates here. I mean, as I say, it's, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of Fuse. You know, it's not around anymore even now. Fuse and Tamar have just disappeared completely, actually. Um, but it was a sort of like a fruit and nut bar. You know, there is no fruit and nutty ones in here at all. But for me, that's a good thing. <laughs> But the Eclair one, I mean, I, I just, you know, it's just out of place as well. I mean, look at it compared to the others. It just shouldn't be in here at all. And the Fudge one as well, yeah. But the Fudge has been in all Cadbury's ones. They put it in Roses as well. I do have a Cadbury's Roses Fudge, actually, to compare it. 
And I've got the uh, the caramels as well. So I've got the caramel one and the soft, this chewy caramel one to compare to the Cadbury's caramel to see if it's exactly the same. Because it used to be one in roses, but uh, I, fe I felt it was when I tasted it before. Okay, so let's let myself down and give these uh, an open. Why not? That's what we're here for. <laughs> so let's see, is that, uh, how's that? There we go. Roughly censored. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it an open then. We'll see what the distribution's like. This one's opened a lot better than the Dairy Milk one, yeah, the uh, Roses one. Okay. Let's see what the distribution's like in here as well. Alright, so we've got plenty. <laughs> let's, uh, Ah, twirl, yes, twirl, I do like that. I think I did mention it before, but... So sometimes the twirl ones are very lacking in these, I've noticed, but hopefully not now. Since I've done a good job, just from the first glance, with the distribution, I have to say. Sometimes you could say, you could argue, maybe it's by weight, so some of them weigh more than others, but I don't buy that, and I still think, by which I mean, you know, you should be, you know, people have a favourite and they want to eat them, you shouldn't only have one just because it weighs more. Right, so not bad. Let's have a look. Not too bad. <coughs> cough. Okay, so we've got a few. We've got five of the eclairs. They are smaller, so you know. So I don't know if you can see if I can zoom you across a bit. So you can see. So yes, we've got three dairy milks. Three twirls, four fudges, yeah, four fudges there, four whispers, five eclairs, four twisteds, four dinky deckers, three caramels, two crunchy bites. So only two crunchy bites. I would say that's a bit of a crime, to be honest with you, that they've only got two of those in there. Um, yeah, I mean, how they've, yeah, that's, uh, that's not on at all, that, because it's, you know, there's, Five eclairs, there's only two crunchies. Everything else has got between three and four. Um, how many different types are in here? There's 11 different roses types. There's nine of these. So that's why there's a bit more distribution. There's a bit better in these than the roses. But yeah, only two of these. That's a real... Yeah, that's a definite no-no, really. I think it's everything else. And it's, especially when it's advertising on the front. Now starting crunchy bits. Crunchy bits. It's one of the main things here. It's on the centre stage. And there's only two of them. Pretty terrible, I'd say. You know, I mean, admittedly, you know, some of them have got three in, and only one more, but of, but they're they're ones that are lacking because there should be four. There's four twisteds, four dinky deckers, four whispers, four fudges. You know, four dairy milks, five eclairs. So there's only really the caramel and the the twirls and dairy milks that have got three of it, three of them. All right, so let's uh, remove a lot. Bar one of each. It also makes it harder to review as well because you've only got one, you've only got leeway for one. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's get rid of all the excess. Okay, so we're left with, I think it's nine, isn't it? Oh. There we go, here's the, uh, right here they are. The nine all stars, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, so basically what I discovered when doing the roses, they're generally around seven centimetres long in the wrapper. I mean, they're going to use a similar kind of wrappers, aren't they? So yeah, and then when you open them, they're about, was it 2.7 or something? So obviously these are all different shapes and sizes, but there are some standard ones. Okay, right, so let's uh, lift myself up. What we'll do is I'll just taste, I won't chop them in half and things like this. I'll sort of dissect them as I eat them, because otherwise, I mean, so many of them, it would just take too long, I think, and... Uh, yeah, so there we go. So, hmm, let me chuck them a lip. So I think I've, um, hmm, so I've reviewed the, this one. It's basically exactly the same as the one in the roses, but I'll uh, review it anyway. <laughs> so obviously you might not have been rocks to watch the roses one. But it's exactly the same wrapper. It's literally exactly the same. Which I guess makes sense. You can't really hold that, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, so it's about 6.7, 6.8 long this time, but I think it's just the fact that it could be seven centimetres, like I said. Right, let's give it an open. Okay, yep, so, yep, looks exactly the same as the roses one. A little bubble of chocolate. Let's see. Yeah, 2.7, like I said, yeah. 
Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm, mmm. It really does taste very nice. It has that lovely dermot smell and taste. Can't really describe it, can you? It's just very sweet and velvety. Mmm, velvety is the word. It's a lovely taste. Really lovely dermot chocolate. Mmm. Yeah. I can't go wrong with that, I really like it. Mm. I'm going to say 4 out of 5. I mean, you could say 5 out of 5. I do really like it, but I think... I don't know, it's um, just, it just it's just something quite a bit light. It's, it's really nice, but it's just something slightly lacking to make it a 5 out of 5. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't have that X factor. You know. Mm. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what it is. But, um, yeah. Still very nice. I don't know. It's, it's on the fence there. Could easily give it a five out of five because it's so nice. But for some reason, my instincts are saying four out of five. Right. So we have the uh, the caramel one now. So I've got an interesting one here. So I want to see. Hmm. Well, again, it was quite nice. I just got the sort of Denmark caramel wrapping there. I, I, I'm not sure if it's Denmark there. I never. I don't know. Denmark chocolate. Hmm. We'll see. But about seven. That's between six point eight and seven centimeters. It's a bit. Not quite straight. It's got the same bubble shape. Cabbage written on it. 2.7, I imagine. Yep. Could be runny caramel this time, so I'll uh, nibble it in a slightly odd way. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you can see that there. <laughs> Falling off. Well, I could see if I showed you. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. Hmm. You can see how, uh, yeah, it's about to go, there we go, it went. <laughs> so you can see how liquidy that caramel is, very, very liquidy, very uh, runny. Quite buttery as well, I think you would say, that's the way to describe it, I think. So, hmm. Hmm. It's a very buttery, very thick caramel, very distinct. I think, yeah, I can't tell that that's dairy milk chocolate at all. I don't think it is. It says dairy milk with caramel, dairy milk caramel, but I don't think it's dairy milk chocolate, that. Hard to tell because you've got so much caramel taste, but um, hmm. I'm going to try this caramel here from the roses and just see whether it is the same caramel. I thought it might have been when I did review it. Hmm. You can see how buttery that caramel was, so let's have a... Hmm. A bit liquidy, but... Hmm. No, it's not the same. It's close. I thought maybe, hmm. In Roses, they used to have cabbage caramel or something that wasn't, you know, it was basically a tab of cabbage caramel in the Roses selection and removed it now. And the uh, the Golden Barrel, which is the one I just had. I thought maybe, oh, because of that transition, they would have just merged them, but yeah. That isn't cabbage caramel. It's still, it's still different, so I'm pleased about that. <laughs> but I wasn't sure. I couldn't tell. Yeah, the cabbage caramel's got a real buttery caramel taste. Very nice though, and uh, hmm, I think I think four to five again. I think it's really nice, but hmm, it's quite sickly, you know. But it's it's still nice. It's still very nice. Right, let's try this twisted one then. It's cream egg twist twisted. Okay, so yeah, cream egg's been a bit controversial over the years because I think it went from having um, it went smaller. And I think it didn't have dairy milk. The chocolate was different. I think it used to be dairy milk. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's about six point six. This one, six point seven. And then, but again, because it's a bit of a taller one, it's stretching out the packaging a bit. I imagine it's going to be two point seven. Again, I think this one looks a bit like a, a bit like one of those honey honey things, honey drizzlers. I'm not sure, but anyway, there you go. Looks quite nice, but there's what's the length? Yeah, about two point seven again. <laughs> Okay, so hmm. basically, it should look like a bit of a sort of an egg in the same in the middle. So we've got the white and the yolk. So let's have a look. Hmm. Quite soft, and not really. <laughs> hmm. Don't see any real indication of it looking like a a cream egg. It's not even really that white either. It's very translucent. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit horrible actually. Yeah. And there's no real 
attempt at having a sort of yolk in there that I can see. Hmm. Seems to be some kind of orange tint, but hmm. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And it's clearly not meant to even look like an egg, you know, it's a it's very sort of translucent white. Hmm. Yeah, not great that one. Very sweet, sickly, sugary liquid sensor. Hmm. It's one of the, you know, it's it's not bad. It takes, you know, it feels like it's okay, but it just isn't that great. Okay. You might maybe two out of five food for that one. It's just not that good, I don't think. Uh, speaking of ones that aren't that good, let's try this one. <laughs> just get it out of the way. It's bloody terrible. I mean, why this one's in here? I, I, anyway, it's one of the eclairs. Oh, I've already opened it, so I, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a sweet, so it doesn't quite compare either, but obviously, side to side, it's about 6.8. Yeah, 6.8, was I, was I making store up there? Yeah, about 6.8. 6.7, we'll say. Um, hmm. It's basically just a hard sweet, hard chewy sweet. Uh, they're okay, these ones. I mean, well, there you go. So it's like basically covered in toffee. It's got like a chocolate center. So like a powdery chocolate center. So let's see if I can... Mm. There you go. Mm. So it's very chewy. And that chocolate bit. It's quite sort of liquidy, powdery. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, chew, chew. <laughs> um, I think you could possibly, I mean, you could always buy bags of eclairs. I don't remember Cadbury's eclairs being a particularly big name in the eclair world, you know, when you bought them. I was got them as like penny sweets and things. Um, in fact, the first I ever saw of Cadbury's eclairs was when they put them in here, so I really don't know where they've come from. I don't know who wanted them, who likes them. Um, yeah. Hmm. And I still haven't seen them really, I don't think. <laughs> maybe at the odd time I see a bag of them, I think maybe once or twice. But they're just not that common at all. I don't think anyone has any 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 desire to have these. Yeah. They're not rubbish, you know. And they are different. They are the only chewy chewy sweet in it. They're a bit different. But they're quite sickly, you know, it's quite strong on your in your mouth, you know. They're very chewy, just not so out of place and um I'm sure some people like them, but whenever I see Cabby's heroes in the office at work or whatever, they're always the last ones left. They're those, those ones that no one really is that bothered about. You know, yeah, I think it's two out of five. I just, I just don't, I, they're just so out of place. There's no appetite for them, metaphorically and literally. <laughs> um, mm, yeah, just, just, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe 10 people out of 100 like them or what really are happy that they're there, but surely that can be it. Get rid of them and put Time Out back in. Bring Time Out back, for God's sake. Anyway. <laughs> right, so let's try the old uh, fudge. Get these lesser ones out of the way. Why not? I should have done them first, really, but we'll do them now midway through. Yeah, it's about 7 centimetres. 7.5, actually. 7.5. 7.4. Um, so this one, yeah. There you go. So you got like a couple of tire tracks on the bottom as well. I was mentioning this in the roses one where only these long ones have the tire tracks. Okay, let's give half a taste. Hmm. Yeah. It's typical fudge affair. I mean, fudge is kind of like um, which you can get in other countries, but it seems to be something you get probably in the late district, I think, in the UK. Um, it seems to be fair, you get all sorts of different flavours, you know, mint, mint, orange. Well, all, all wacky flavours, you know, kind of thing with strawberry, I don't know. You know, crazy tutti frutti or something, I don't know, all, all sorts of random flavours of fudge. Um, and this is kind of a take on it, you know, what Cadbury's do. And it's not that great, it doesn't really taste, fudge is quite soft and very sweet. This isn't as soft and it's not as sweet. I don't really like fudge, it's too sweet for me, it hurts my teeth actually, it's that sweet. So I don't really like it. I don't mind this as much, but it's so, it's just such a bother of Cadbury's boring, boring brands, the fudge, you know, it's just not that interesting. And it's a cheap sweet, like a 10 piece sweet one, it's like a chomp, you know, the Cadbury's do one called a chomp, which is this chewy caramel one, or even a curly whirly, you know, it's just the really sort of lower end of the Cadbury's stuff that are quite cheap and kids buy, you know, with the dinner money or whatever. 
So it's got no place in the selection at all. It's just, no one wants it, you know. I mean, people remember from the childhood, but that's about it. It, it needs to be removed from here. Just put more, put more crunchy bits in or whatever that you needed, you know. So yeah, two out of five, I think. I'm gonna, now this is the, this is the roses one. I'm gonna compare them both. So this, this one's called County Fudge, Country Fudge. It looks exactly the same. It's got the same tie, tie treads on the bottom. Even that same sort of golden bit at the side. Hmm. Seems a bit of a different shape. It's a bit taller actually, the uh, roses one. I must say. Hmm. It's not just the same bar. It's clearly a different size actually, isn't it? It is a different size, it looks like. Hmm. So that's, un that's surprising, I have to say. You would have expected them just to use the same one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can see this, this, this roses one is clearly taller. Hmm. Hmm. If there is a difference, it's very minimal in taste. Um, yeah. Hmm. That height, that height thing might have been just been. I don't know, maybe they've changed the manufacturing processes lately, and it's just uh, made them smaller, and one of them is just an older box, and the other I don't know. But hmm, maybe they are generally just slightly different shapes and sizes. But if there's any difference in taste, it's very, very, very minimal. I mean, they are basically the same bar, I think. But yeah, I'm surprised there's a difference in height. I must say that must, surely that must be. They've just changed the height and maybe shrunk or, well, presumably shrunk one of them. Because I can't see, I mean, surely you wouldn't be in your right mind, you would have the same bar, but just have one slightly taller. I don't know. <laughs> Seems crazy, that. Hmm. But maybe they do. But um, yeah, but they taste exactly that are the same. There we go, yeah. Right, okay, so on to some better ones. The twill. I'm very excited about this one. Twill's always nice. It's basically just chocolate, really, but it just really does taste very nice. Um, you can use it as a straw as well in your hot drinks. You can get about 7.5 wide, this one. <clears throat> basically a bit like a sort of flake, but covered with a sort of cut. Um, I'll tell you in a second, actually. Um, yeah, about four centimeters now. It's basically like a bit like a flake, a cabbage flake, which is just very flaky chocolate, but covered in, but this time covered in chocolate to make it stand not flaked as much. Hmm. It is really nice and does taste a bit more like uh, dairy milk chocolate. It's more of a sort of, I'll say, that velvety taste. Hmm. Not quite as flake as a flake is a flake, but. And just flake a lot. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, really nice. Again, probably doesn't quite have that five out of five factor, um, but it's really good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'll chocolate on my fingers now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I think um, I think that one definitely a four out of five. I think yeah. Okay, now let's do the Whisper next. We'll save the two new ones to last, why not? <laughs> so Whisper, I'll say Whisper disappeared as well and went out of the hero of the selection, but came back after a um, Facebook campaign about 10 years ago now, maybe. Um, this one's about 6.5 centimetres. 6.6. Um, and it came back, and yeah, and it's been put back into the uh, into Heroes range. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention this, a few of them have this annoying sort of, you know, pack... Um, wrapper thing where it loses that colour when you open the thing which is just you know, it doesn't really matter because it's normally hidden but when you do the flat to open it it's just a bit annoying really yeah. okay yes so anyway so i'm glad the back no com completely it used to be caramel bites whisper bites whisper caramel um you know but so not completely bad they just do the caramel one i think and mint whisper as well there's that weird sort of weird shit i'm not sure yeah maybe the whisper does have a bit like that there's a little ribbed effect. Okay, melting a bit of my hands. So here's it 2.4 again. Pretty much, yep. 
Let's give it a go. So it's an aerated chocolate one, this one. So it's um, a bit like Aero, but much nicer. The bubbles are a lot smaller than Aero's. Mm. Wow. This really is velvety. Mm. I don't know if it's dairy milk, but it's... Um, it isn't. It's, um, it's, the taste is lovely just by being aerated. You can see the, how small the bubbles are. There's obviously one big one there, but generally they're really small. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. I feel like um, <clears throat> back in the day we would have given this a 5 out of 5, but mm, I mean, nowadays I've not more chocolate since then. It's still 4 out of 5. It is really nice. It is really nice. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's do the uh, let's do the Dinky Decker then. Now, I was very impressed with the Dinky Deckers when I did uh, review the pack separately. You know, I've done a review of the whole pack of one of these. They're really nice actually. Um, I felt they were even better than just regular double deckers. Just because the way this smallness really lent themselves to the uh, the taste and the textures. But yeah, about 7.5 centimetres. That's quite nice to see, it's got the double decker. So basically, um, as you don't know, the ding, the, the, it's based on a bar called the double decker. And it was a half, I think it had a half chewy nougat at the top, and the other half was sort of like crunchy biscuit bits surrounding chocolate. So it's like two halves. And you could turn it upside down to have a, a decker double as well. <laughs> so this would be a decker dinky upside down. So it's basically just a replica, replica of that. Gonna open it. So quite small though. Very thin, very small, very flat. Don't know if they're meant to be this flat, but they, you know, yeah, they were meant to be. 3.2. Yeah, so they are very flat, so let's give it a taste. Hmm. It bites very easy. The regular double deck can be very difficult to bite. Hmm. Yeah. I was right, you know, I was right at the back of the time, I still gave myself it. So, mm, very nice being the spin. Mm. Yeah. Which really well. I seem to remember I'm possibly giving them part of five. This one, I don't know, it tastes a bit sickly though. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's quite the dinky decker. Yeah, they seem a bit flat, these ones. I don't know if they've changed them again or something, but. Hmm, a bit flatter that one. A little bit of a sickly taste to it. I don't know, not quite as good as I remember it being. But still nice. I think you get about three and a half, four out of five, I think, for those. Yeah, I'm sure they were better than the, that. They used to, I'm sure they used to be better than that. I'm sure you could used to be able to see that the top was like a white layer. You know, in the actual bar, it's white. In this one, it was kind of grey. You know, it didn't seem to quite translate as well as it could have done. Um, but yeah, hmm. Okay, but not as strong as I thought it would be that one. Right now, I've got the one of the crunchy bits. I'm excited about this one actually because uh, well, Cabbage Crunchy is basically a honeycomb bar just covered in uh, chocolate really, so it's just honeycomb and uh, famous that Friday feeling, about well, 6.9 cents a piece, Friday feeling um, <laughs> advertisement campaign used to have ages ago, maybe they still do it um, <clears throat> yeah so it's a typical one of those, it's that same bubble Cabbage bubble one like the Dermot one things yeah 2.4 again yeah, so 2.7. Okay, yeah, let's give it a go. Hmm. This is cool. And basically, there's um, you can buy a bag of um of these really. That's where they've come from. Without the dinky deckers, you can buy a bag of these. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's just got lots of crunchy bits in. So rather than just being a chunk of honeycomb with chocolate, and they've actually sort of. Got lots of small honeycomb pieces in there. And that's pretty nice actually. Hmm. Hmm. Good honeycomb taste as well. This is actually nicer than the crunchy itself, I think. I think the crunchy itself is perhaps a bit too honeycomby. Hmm, hard to say. It's not dairy milk though again, which it <coughs> should be. It needs to be dairy milk. I think that's the problem with these things. Every time they just don't make it with dairy milk chocolate. They make it with dairy milk chocolate. It's nicer. And I think that's probably what's holding it back, really. So again, a four out of five. I think it's just not quite. If it was dairy milk chocolate, I think it would work perfectly, but it's not. And for some reason, saving money or whatever it is, they just. You know, dairy milk chocolate is what Cadbury's is about. It's their big brand, dairy milk chocolate. They don't include it with any of the other things like this. Any of these, I don't think. I mean, even the twirl, I'm not sure. It might be dairy milk chocolate, but the, 
you know, the whisper, fair enough, whatever that is, that's just the way it is, it's just a recipe. But I mean, even like the dairy milk caramel, I'm sure that's not dairy milk chocolate. Um, yeah, the, 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 the crunchy bits, you know, just make it dairy milk, and I don't know. I guess all the others don't really lend itself that well to it, but well, the, the, the twisted, at least make it dairy milk chocolate, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. No shame really. But yeah, four out of five, it's still nice though. Not the crunchy bits in it. So overall not too bad again, but again nothing you know, just all quite standard affairs really, you know. Or just regular chocolates, little nibbles of them. None of them blow your socks off particularly. The some of them are nice, but you know, yeah. Even the whisper I think in this one didn't taste quite I don't know, it was a bit disappointing. I don't know, maybe it's just because I just had too much chocolate this morning, I've just reviewed the roses as well. Um mm. You know, but yeah, the Dinky Deckers as well were nice, but again, didn't blow my socks off. I just didn't feel overly bowled over by any of them, really, but they were still nice. I'd say still four out of fives, which is still very good, you know. I'd say three is average, four is very good, five is just excellent perfection, you know. Um, hmm. So, yeah, so not too bad. I think I prefer them than the roses, really. I think, but the roses, well, actually, I think individually the chocolates are better in the Heroes. Um, but I think overall the roses ones have just better peaks. You know the creams are just a bit nicer, a bit more different. You know, so mm. I think as a whole the roses are better. But individually, the heroes have some possibly stronger entries. You know, or maybe more consistent entries. Um, overall, you know, just a bit more average out, a bit better. Yeah, maybe just about. Um, yeah. So, but again, it's a four out of five. I think for this one for me. Um, yeah, I did like it, but yeah, just, I don't know, you know, they're very similar, all the chocolates, really, you know, they're very chocolatey, you know, you know, they weigh you down a bit after a while, and you can't eat that many of them, um, yeah, he'll, um, and so the fudge and the eclair just need removing from it, you know, don't even replace them, you just remove them, um, just have more of the other things, and maybe even the twisted one as well, get rid of that, put something else in there, I think Cadbury's range, though, is so limited now, they just haven't got the range they used to have, you know, um, to really pad these out, but you don't need that many of them. Just have the four or five, well, the five or six, sorry, uh, chocolates in here. Don't have nine, you know. Yeah, but I don't really think they had that much variety either. You know, they're just more chewy, strong, heavy chocolates. You know, like the the, the eclair. You know, the fudge is quite heavy, really, even though it's you know perceived to be light. Yeah. So I think yeah, I think for me a four out of five. I think I'd say it's the dinky deck of the crunchy bits. Really nice. The donuts are really nice. The twirl's good. The caramel's very buttery as well. Yeah. Hmm. I like all of them. They're all good, solid four out of five chocolates. Those. Um, I say with some of the flaws, like the crunchy bits, need to be dairy milk. But you know, generally, yeah, generally they're doing a good job. I think. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think uh, I think there's weaker ones in the roses than there is in the cabbage here. Is maybe. I say just a few, you know, maybe, but one or two more, maybe. But there's more in the roses. There's 11 chocolates and there's only nine in the hero. So, yeah. So, that might explain it. <laughs> right, so we just a review. Uh, follow me to subscribe to my videos. And follow me as well. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. See ya.